you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today is Tuesday. And if from what I saw on Twitter is correct, we did get announced a house rules finally. So last week we got our first house rules in like two or three weeks. And to be honest, it was kind of underwhelming, to be completely honest with you guys. We got collectibles. I was not really a huge fan of it because it was just a few kickoff collectibles that wasn't even enough for one free player. I really didn't see the point of it. I mean, we were, we were able to use it on sets to get like the seasonal performers and stuff, but again, wasn't really interesting. We got the new house rules here. Hopefully the rewards are good. Now, if I had to guess, I'd hope we get a Nat Legend, a Nat Team of the Week hero, or a Nat Kickoff player. But with the way EA is trending, I feel like we're just gonna get more kickoff collectibles, and in that case, it would really suck. Now, guys, I am excited though. Tuesday's always a big day when we get my house rules. It's interesting, it's fun to play. Hopefully it's a fun game mode with good rewards. That's all we need, a fun game mode with good rewards will keep the whole Madden week not dry until weekend league and everything on the weekends. And Legend Saturdays and the Mutt 10 player, but guys, before we get into this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, boys. You guys have been smashing the like button. Let's get this video to 200 likes. Everyone watching right now, if you're a little supporter, you're new, whatever, hit the thumbs up button. It goes a long way in helping my channel out. Comment down below what you guys think of these rewards and what you guys have any tips for how to complete this because obviously once we get into it, you'll understand. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, boys. We're grinding to 9K. Things have been going very well. And turn on that noti bell. So first thing, our house, our rules. House rules are limited time events that challenge the way you play. Head to see in current rules and rewards. And if you guys already know, House Rules is a event that typically comes out on some Tuesdays. It's limited time. You can play for two days, and there's usually objective-based scoring, such as like get 200 yards, score touchdowns without being able to audible, and so on and so forth. Over time, it all depends on what they do, but it's typically fun and keeps the Madden season pretty fun, at least during the week, because Tuesday through Thursday are typically dry days. So let's get into this. Let's go check this out. Hopefully, it's good rewards. I really don't want to see it, because if it's bad rewards, it's going to throw me off. Okay, so double trouble, limited time house rules, lead by 14 points, two points on 20 yard plays, two points on TFLs, interceptions, tackles for losses, interceptions. So if you tackle for a loss, you get two points, you intercept, you get two points. All right, so a 90 overall Nat, team of the week hero or a Redux player. That's really cool actually. So you can get a lot of guys, I'll, I'll go over that afterwards. Okay, so they did give us a awesome house rules here. Now to get the reward, you need 30 total wins. So switch it up with house rules. Get as many wins as you can as possible to earn a 90 Nat overall team of the week hero or Redux player. So in theory, there's so many options for that of that reward. I'll go over that more towards the end of the video, but for now let's go over what the thing is. So it's lead by 14 points, two points on 20 yard plays, two points on tackles for losses and interceptions. So I feel like this might be the week to blitz because every tackle that you get for a loss is two points, if I'm reading that correctly. So you need to lead by 14 points to win. So you have to take a 14 point lead on the opponent and then you will inevitably win the game. So two points on 20 yard plays. So pretty much you could score all your points in two drives. You could either actually score, or if you just get like three big plays, a tackle for a loss and two interceptions, let's see, two interceptions would be four points, three, three of sacks would be six points, that's 10. And if you get like three 20 yard plays, that's 14, 16 right there. So that's actually pretty cool, honestly. This is a new attack. Like this is something new that I've never actually seen in Madden. It's gonna be kind of cool to see my points go up in between drives. I've actually never seen that happen before in while playing Madden in all my career. Now, as far as the rewards, for one win you get 5,000 coins. For just five would you get 5,000 coins. For 10 would you get 5,000 coins. For 15 would you get 5,000 coins. This is pretty cool. We actually get a lot of coins and trophies. If you played, if you get 60 wins, you'll get 40, 80, 120, 150, 180, 210, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 280 trophies, and then 20,000, 40,000, 60,000, 75,000, 90,000, 105,000, 115,000, 120, 125, 130, 135, 140,000. You get 60 wins, you get 140,000 coins, 280 trophies, plus the per game win bonuses, which would be like another 20K altogether if my math is correct on that. And then you get a Nat Team of the Week hero or Redux player. So I'm actually a big fan. So my, my personal tips for how to go about this would be, so for a lead by 14 points, you probably want to start off on offense because if you start off on defense, you're going to be playing from behind unless you have a really good defense. I wouldn't mind with my defense and my my blitzing scheme because I feel like I'd be I'd be comfortable enough to get blitzes and interceptions. So if you start on an offense, I don't think I'd go for the 20-yard plays because that's like, you know, it is what it is. You could honestly just check the ball down and get 20-yard plays. Like 20-yard plays are so random. It's not about bombing the ball or going deep. Some of the best 20-yard plays are short routes that you get in open space you can take up. That's really not that hard. If you run, I like to do X-Drag Trail in the Patriot Playbook. That's one of my favorite. I think that'll be one of the best plays for this challenge. X-Drag Trail, Patriot Playbook, go to by play type, shotgun, 
press X will be right there the first thing extract trail um, I like to put my wheel on a protect and then pretty much the tight end over the middle is typically open a lot of the time And if he's open on the left sideline, that's already 20 yards in itself. That's two points The running back comes out at an angle Again, if that's if that's open over the middle and they use of the tight end again another 20 yards 20 yards in one drive You could easily score or if you don't even score you just get all the 20 yard plays You can pretty much make up for a touchdown almost and then on defense tackles for losses So that includes stuffing the running back sacking the quarterback getting a tackle on the line of scrimmage pretty much anything in that nature so for me, I'm gonna be running, you know, typical pinch buck blitzes. And obviously, if you're versing a guy who knows how to play against the man blitzes and they know what they're doing, don't keep blitzing them because they're just gonna destroy you. Certain people know how to play against blitzes, and when you see that person, you want to be wary of what you're doing. So in my case, I think I'm gonna be. I'll start off off the gate blitzing right off the bat. See what I can do. If the person knows how to get rid of the ball quickly and knows how to counter that, or they're running stretch and they get out of there, then I'll switch it up to a nice zone scheme that still puts enough pressure, like a, a 4 4 cover 2 invert, something that puts enough pressure still and also covers in the zone. But it all really depends. Now, 30 wins, right? So these aren't full games. You could probably, I imagine these games could probably be done within the first quarter. Again, my best advice to you guys is don't play out the full game. A house rules game mode should never be, in my opinion, go beyond the second quarter when you need 30 wins. So get into the first quarter. If you're dominating them, Finish the game, win by the first quarter. If it's looking close, right, like you guys are going back and forth, back and forth. Now, this one specifically, though, is a weird one, right? Because anything could happen on any drive. You sack a guy twice and get a pick, you're up eight points, you can win right there if you already had. If it's a 7-7, if it's like a 14-7 game, on one drive on defense, you can pretty much win the game right back with three, with three sacks and an interception. So I wouldn't necessarily quit if it's like that close, but like if it's a 7-7 game, like you guys are going back and forth, back and forth, running the ball, playing safe football, no interceptions, no tackles for losses, just quit the game. Don't wait four quarters. See, I'd imagine I can get this done within every, like, I could probably finish the game every, like, seven to eight minutes. So I'll probably take, like, for, I could probably get, like, six to seven wins an hour. It'll probably take, like, three to five hours to get this whole thing done, depending on how good you are, right? Like, if you're really, if you're good at the game, I mean, for me, maybe I can get this done in, like, three hours. 30 wins isn't hard. Now, 60 wins might take a day or two, depending on how much time you guys have to play. Now, let's go ahead over to the auction block, show you guys the rewards here. Pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. I'm really a fan of these rewards here. A Redux player is huge. That means you get a free limited time player from series one. If you guys know what Redux players are. So let's head over to program. Well, let's go to quality 90 and then see what you could potentially get. So there's a Redux and a team of the week here. So let's start with the team of the week, team of the week heroes, team of the week. So you could potentially get, I believe in Lamar Jackson. I know that's there. You can get a CJ Mosley, which again, not a bad option. I hope it's a fantasy pack, but if it's not CJ Mosley, I mean, I won't be too happy because I have two middle linebackers already. But then I'll probably just end up getting rid of Devin White if I really had to. Julio Jones would be awesome. I'd really like that. Darius Slay. We got Lamar Jackson. And then we got, I don't know if Sammy Watkins counts. No, he's 91. It has to be 90. So pretty much every player here besides the two new limited times. But that's honestly pretty awesome. I'll take Slay. I'll take Julio. I'll take Lamar. I'll take everyone besides CJ Mosley. He's the only one that I wouldn't want. Now to go to the Redux players, which actually have a lot more options than you guys would probably think. You can get Devontae Adams. Philip Rivers, Cameron Jordan, Christian McCaffrey, Eddie Jackson, and Desmond Trufant. Am I missing anyone? Missing anyone? Okay, those are all. So, in my opinion, the ones I wouldn't want here. If I got Devontae Adams, I'd be pretty upset. I really wouldn't want him. Would I use him? Probably because it's Devontae Adams. I'd probably power him up and he'd have like an 85 speed. It wouldn't be horrible, but that'd not be my first choice. Philip Rivers, again, would be pretty upset about. Would not use him at all. Probably end up just holding on to him, putting him into an exchange set next series. Um, Cameron Jordan, I'd actually really like. I wouldn't mind him. Like, I wouldn't, like, be ecstatic about him. But, like, I'd obviously probably use him over DeMarcus Lawrence at that point. And I'd probably throw DeMarcus Lawrence into an exchange set if it's possible. I don't think you can, though. I think it's an 89 to 90 exchange set. But I'd have to see. Maybe move him over to defensive tackle, one of them. Then Christian McCaffrey. I wouldn't be too excited about him. But, again, I would just put him. I'd, I'd use him. He'd be my backup running back. I, I do a lot of sets where I have two running backs uh, that receive. So this would actually be pretty huge to have a nice receiving back with 80 catching. Honestly, no, I'd take McCaffrey. I could play him as like a receiver. I could use him as a guy that comes out of the backfield. Maybe put like that route specialist on him. He'd be very useful, actually. And then Eddie Jackson, again, I wouldn't be excited about him. But I'd probably have to use him, a 90 overall guy. I'd probably just end up using him. And then Desmond Trufant would be awesome, too. This card is a beast. I'd power him up so quickly. So in my opinion, the best options here, if you, if you guys have a choice, which I don't think you do, I would take Desmond Trufant, McCaffrey, and Cameron Jordan. Those are the three that I kind of want. And then the other ones, like I'd take. The only ones I really don't want would be Phillip Rivers. Like, Phillip Rivers would make me upset. I would not use him. And then Team of the Week, obviously, I went over those already, guys. And those are pretty awesome, to be completely honest with you. I like all of them besides CJ Mosley. So there's a there's a much better chance than not that you're going to get someone you really like, guys. So I do really like that. 
But that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this content video. I hope you guys get all the information you guys need and you can go start your house rules as soon as possible. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noti bell. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button. Let's get 200 likes on this video. Make sure to comment down below who you want from this. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.